Hey guys, Nerdarchus Ryan here. I'm joined by a couple of nerds. I'm Ted. And I'm Dave. And uh, so we had a question come in from Twitter from uh, at the, the Devil's Top Hat. And uh, he was asking, how can I implement addiction into my games? One of my players is a Sherlock Holmes type character and wants an addiction backstory. Do you think the devil knows that his hat is running off making tweets? With this dude making Twitter tweets? Yeah, uh, before yeah. before we get into this Game Master's tip, why don't you guys jump down to the description below, sign up for Nerdarchy the newsletter. It's a great way to get gaming tips delivered straight to your inbox weekly, as well as learn how to game with Nerdarchy. You don't need to be Sherlock Holmes to find it. Find it. So, yeah, addictions, really what I would do is just work this into the, like, the flaws mechanic. Like, put that down there as a flaw that they can play and bring out. Yeah, really, like, you... here's the thing, like... I know a lot of you guys feel like you always need a mechanical thing, right, to make something happen in the game, but the truth of the matter is you don't. Mm. Especially, like, if you're you're imposing penalties on your own character, yeah. you can just do it. Right. Yeah. You know, you can just say, like, oh, like I'm Jojen, so I'm at disadvantage, or what, however, however you see the thing affecting him, or, you know, perhaps you make bad decisions when you decide your character is in a state of need, mm. it, you know, or he's easily influenced to do certain things. Or you, you can put yourself out of a situation, you know, like, you know, whether it's a combat or whether it's a, you know, a, a conversation, you know, you can just be like, all right, well, I'm focused elsewhere, or you're... I'm huddled in the corner with the I'm, shakes. I'm, you know... Uh, uh, well, so the the important thing of this um, this discussion and question is the fact that he was going for a Sherlock Holmes thing. Now, Sherlock Holmes like only really fell into his addiction when he wasn't actively solving a crime. Mm -hmm. Like when he didn't have anything to do and he just got bored, he just kind of do drugs and like sit around and mope and be depressed. So like really, when your characters like it could not come up at all when your characters adventuring, but like in between adventures, he's like doing some really dumb and depraved things. Like now, be... um, the Robert Downey Jr. version didn't he actually use that like as a, almost like a meditation and like to get visions off of opium? Oh, if he was doing opium, uh, maybe, maybe. They I mean, doing... it's been a while since but, that movie came out. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I mean, just like reading the Sir Arthur Conan, Conan Doyle like original. Like, really, it wasn't when he was on a case that he had a problem. It's when he didn't have something to keep his mind engaged was kind of an issue. So you could you could have this be a thing that's only like a story element in between adventures sort of thing. That, yeah, that, you could absolutely do that, it that, that way. You could definitely do it either direction, in my opinion. Yeah. It depends, too, like how severe you're talking for addiction. Like, Do you want to impose a, a minus two or a disadvantage to the role? Like, how bad is it going to get type of situation? You know, or, or like the fact that the way you describe the Sherlock Holmes is that's kind of convenient, right? Mm. It's only really an addiction when it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, where a true a true addiction happens all the time. You don't get yeah. to turn it on and off for the most part. Yeah. I mean, um, but if, if you're doing it, if you're doing it as a player, you know, and, it, and it's your sole creation, then it's there to you know kind of build the character. And you are technically, you know, you're going to be suffering in game from well, I technically am going to have to acquire the stuff. Is it against the Is it against the law? Am I going to get caught? You know, what are the ramifications if I do? You know, that that constant social and cost. political and stuff like yeah. that. And what, what I'm saying too is I'm not saying necessarily about mechanical. Um, penalties to the character, but what I'm saying is like, you know, the complication of having it come up. And again, like it works really well as a flaw mm -hmm. because it, it, it create you know, every time you every time you complicate the character's life with that addiction, you know, it's you, a you, you, mechanic you, well, it, inspiration. It, yeah, you toss them a, a, an inspiration chip or whatever, yeah. And you could, you, you know, there's definitely different ways to do it. You could be like an Oracle type character that you know, feels like they can only foresee the future or, you know, get premonitions when they're high, when they're, you know, when they're using their substance. Well, I mean, that's the thing, too, when you look at, like, uh, ancient Greeks and, like, the, those oracles there that, like, would live in these caves or whatever, there was, like, I mean, part of it, there was a thing with, like, fumes that were kind of poisonous or toxic yeah, look that would the give them visions because they were kind of tripping, basically. You can, you know, view the, the beginning of 300, you know, it's, it's right, right in there. Yeah, and then you also have, like, different, um, I guess, Native American practices with sweat lodges and peyote and stuff like mm. that. 
which I'm definitely not an authority on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and also... Hey, uh, guys, you notice how I called them Native Americans and I didn't say anything else? Yeah. <laughs> or you could um, you could go with uh, sort of Aborigines, um, you know, like spirit vision quest sort of situations, same sort yeah. of thing there. So you could do that. Trying to erase all my childhood education, it's hard. <laughs> yeah. It is It is funny how, like, in elementary school, like, they would call them Indians. And, like, what? No. Oh, nobody, my God. I can't believe nobody, you just said that. Nobody <laughs> says that anymore. Yeah. yeah. But, like, in elementary school, it's totally a thing. Yeah. So, so there's definitely some ways that you can handle this. And most of them, you know, I, I would just leave it up to player agency and let them have fun with it and do whatever. And it can affect their character however they see, they, see it affecting their character. And it, can, and it can also be something that grows over time. And it, it, you know, it could be a personal plot arc for that character too. Right. You know, where maybe it becomes a problem at some point where they actually have to address it and be like, "Oh, I can't." You know, I'm having trouble functioning, and then, then you get to do the comeback story kind yeah. of deal. Well, so I mean, the fun thing too is even if you did just relegate it to like the sort of uh, between adventures sort of circumstance, you could do a thing where whatever they did in the throes of being on the substance or like in the depths of their addiction, those things come to roost, mm. and the party is there to deal with it too. So you could do a thing where you work out these sort of like story arcs of what the character might have done between adventures you, you with the player. Special carousing tables. Well, oh, but oh. no. But I'm saying okay. So what I'm saying here is before I get interrupted every time, um, is that you work it out with that one player what's going on, and um, <laughs> so you work out with that one player what's going on with the, between the rest of the party, and then um, what was I even saying? And then so the. The party is surprised by what happens, and you know, and and you and the uh, the the GM and the player are in on it. Yeah, is kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. So what what I would do, you know, if, if you if the player sets it up as like, well, this is only gonna be a between quest type of situation, I would totally have an adventure planned where there's not a quest, so that he's all you know he's he's dealing with his addiction because he's not getting to go on, on some adventure and some kind of quest. And whatever he's doing, you know, he's going to be on the stuff. You know, the players are going to. So he almost players... becomes like a micro vi villain of the of the adventure because they're dealing with just flirting him doing dumb shit. Yes. Yeah. Dungeons and interventions. Like it's like when you go out to the club and you have that one friend that just can't control themselves. Yeah. And, you know, it's like so somebody somebody always has to take turns of babysitting them. I mean, you know, I don't go out to people in clubs or anything like that, but yeah. Well, clubs. Bars, Tavern, pub, whatever, bar, out for an evening with friends. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't know if, what you goddamn kids do now. So if you <laughs> hang out with with dumbasses who can't handle themselves, yeah. yeah. All right. So what, what do you guys think? How do you deal with addiction in your games? Do you allow it? Do you disallow it? Put your thoughts in the comments below. While you're at it, like, share, even subscribe. You can hang me out with us over on Facebook. You can patronize us in a good way uh, over on Patreon. It's addicting. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.